okay? So let's see what this is all about. So the first card I'm going to pull is my Osho Zen card. We have playfulness. The playfulness card is here in reverse. So some of you guys this month are going to be thinking about how to bring that back into your life. So a lot of you guys are going to be thinking about how do I bring back the playfulness, the happiness, the fun little things in life that, that, I, that make you feel young again and just young, happy, um, joyful, uh, feel like laughing and just experiencing fun stuff. So a lot of you guys are really thinking about that this month, how to bring it forward in your life. Maybe that's why you're not able to sleep at night. There's a need here for a vacation or there's a need for a little bit of fun. So um, you guys might be thinking about a lot about that, how to bring that into your life. Um, next, we have the Thunderbolt card. And um, this is in basically whatever you guys might be doing this month. Um, it might be creating a lot of unexpected, um, whatever it is you're planning on doing, actions you take, things around you. Uh, there, there might be some sudden change this month. Um, and it's really good change because it's, uh, it's bringing forth some clarity about yourself that you really needed to know. And I really believe a lot of this clarity for most of you has to do with how do you bring back peace that childlike fun within your life or work situation or work and life balance. But how do you bring that back into your life? So whatever it is you're doing this month, um, it may be positive or negative, but it always will re revert to what it is that you're going for. And so for those of you that are looking for that playfulness, um, whatever actions you take this month are going to be unexpected, unexpected change. We have the rebel card, which is always reminds me of a Leo, but not, a, not, this is not necessarily a Leo, but this is the rebel. The rebel's here. This is cutting, breaking the chains that bind you, um, in the normal cookie cutter life or the normal way of doing things, following the sheep, following the group. This is somebody who wants to take charge and this beautiful fire energy here. Um, and just saying, I'm going to do things my way and I'm just going to be independent. So it's a lot of you guys are feeling independent right now. You're feeling like you're being a rebel. You're, you're feeling like you're cutting through things that, um, that are boring, maybe uh, boring. That's a good word. I think you guys, you're tired of doing things, uh, the way that most people do them. And so a lot of you guys are, 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 uh, bringing this energy and you're going to be really feeling like you really need to be rebel, uh, against things right now. So you guys have a real fiery energy here. Um, and that's most likely what is causing a lot of this tower energy. Uh, it's going to bring forward a lot of change because of your attitude. So a lot of you guys are having this attitude of re rebelling and it's something with deep within you that's needing to come out and uh, people aren't going to like it. Possibly the actions you take, the people you're going to be around, they may not like it that much. Um, it may be difficult for them to deal with and therefore it's going to create some possible changes within, within your uh situations because it looks like you're going for play you're, you're done you're going for playfulness you're going for some fun and Leo that's what you're all about that you're all about having fun right so it's it's we all should be in in that mindset uh fun playfulness just enjoying your your surroundings enjoying what you're doing okay the other card we have is one of my favorite cards the black card it says no, no thingness no thing no thingness Basically means nothingness, right? But it says no thingness. So anyway, um, there's a need. There's a, a a need for the light switch to be turned on. It's dark. You can't see your way through. You don't really know what's ahead of you. You don't know what's going to happen or how how to find your way through to the light, to to realization, to clarity. So a lot of you guys, what I'm getting here right now is, you guys want change really bad really bad um, to the point where you're not even going to think about how to get there or wait for the light to turn on. You're just going for it. And because you, here you are the rebel, you're going for it. And I want to say there was another, uh, I forgot what my gosh, she was that I did have this exact reading almost. Wow. You guys, it was another sign that had this almost identical reading It's tripping me out. Actually. Um, I want to think, I, 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 I want to believe it was, it was either Aries um, it was Aries or Taurus who had this reading. I mean, extremely similar. So I would watch those 
videos if you guys have that in your chart or dealing with um, one of those two type of signs. Um, anyway, let's get into your main reading. The center of the reading, we have um, seven sword, uh, wands. Yep, what's crossing you is the tower. I'm tripping out, you guys. I got to find out who what what uh, the other reading is for you. If you hang around until the end, uh, I will I will find it for you because I, I really think you guys need to know. There, this reading's tripping me out. It's very similar. I mean, really similar. So the tower is here again. It's crossing you. It's going to be the challenge for you this month. It's going to be a difficult, you know, you know, something you need to go through. Um, your doesn't seem like it's going to really phase you. Like I say, it's not like. It's like, bring it on. I, I feel like some of you guys are saying, bring it on. You know, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with falsehood. I'm done with um, the way things, the fake false foundations in life. I'm done with not being fine. I'm done with, with the, the, the lack of um, joy and, and, and playfulness within my situations and others. So, yeah, I think a lot of you guys are like, bring it on. Um for others of you, there, you know, if you're not expecting it, it, it's a surprise, and you may not know how it's going to affect you. I mean, what, it, how it's going to, uh, it, you know, come into play. But you, a lot of you guys don't care because again, we have the black, the card. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. The light's not on. You don't know where it's going to lead or how to get there. But the tower's going to bring it there. So for those of you that have been feeling stuck, needing this joy, this uh, rebellious attitude. Uh, needs to be taken and uh, action needs to be taken and every time this tower hits within your life be, just be grateful because the universe is making it happen for you it's getting you unstuck getting you out of face fake falsehoodness um, somebody's fighting here not fighting somebody's really gone through a lot this is um, the seven of wands you know people have been difficult around you um, People haven't been very uh, helpful or there's been a lot of stuff going on. It's just been a lot of hard work, but you guys have made it through at this point. Somebody's made it through. In the recent past, we have the four of pentacles. A lot of you guys have been saving, 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 um, really being frugal with your money, being um, careful with how you're spending it, not spending it, trying to save, save, save. We have the justice coming in in reverse. This talks about some kind of imbalance or injustice or uh, some kind of uh, something is not equal or aligned. It's not fair within your life situation. Something's not fair here. We're going to definitely pull some cards for that. We also have the three of wands, three of wands in reverse. And this is what you guys really should be. This is your advice. And this is what you should be focusing on. Three of wands. This is, uh, uh, you may be changing your mind. Maybe there's, you know, all this work somebody's put into something. Um, fighting, not fighting, but really, you know, staying passionate, staying driven to get to what it is that you need. Somebody might be changing their mind. Somebody might be wanting to change their career, change their, uh, leave a situation behind that they've really thought was, was going to bring them long-term stability. That was going to bring them what exactly it is that they wanted. They've spent maybe a lot of time on that and gone through challenges and somebody you might be changing your mind okay or somebody from your somebody might be coming coming back in regards to a project you or something you've worked on i do see most most of you are thinking about it you're thinking about making this change in your life because what 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 you've been working on um it, it, something you've been working and striving for has been really unbalanced. It's, it seems as if it wasn't, it wasn't in your favor. It never went in your, it wasn't going in your favor. And that's why the tower's here. So a lot of you guys are going to be thinking about changing your mind, uh, changing direction and going in a new direction. Now, what you guys are hoping for, what you're striving for this month is not hoping, but you're striving for the Knight of wands. This is the Knight of wands. And yes, this is you. This is you, Leo. You are wanting, so you are wanting a passion, a desire, a spark, um, a direction. You want to take action and you want to move forward with this beautiful, your normal, wonderful uh, energy moving forward with passion and drive. This is what you want. You want to do that, but something's stopping you. Something's stopping you this month. You're really, I think a lot of you guys, is this rebel energy. There's so much like... Um, need for there's so so much seriousness here 
Um, but it's good seriousness because it's needed for you guys to, so you can be this knight of wands, so you can go forward in what it is that you're passionate about. Because right now you're in the dark, there is the lack of knowing maybe what which way to go or how to get there. So some of you guys might not be taking that action. But again, you need somebody, something needs to change. This is your advice. The three of wands in reverse. You know, upright, it's somebody who's put a lot of work into something. You've put a lot of work into what you were hoping for um, to bring you what it is that you wanted, your desires, your hopes, your dreams, your foundation. It's in reverse because it may not be coming towards you. You may not be getting the payout. You may not be getting what you, it's taking too long. So that could be for some of you, or it's just this tower moment is making you see things differently now that you thought were uh, what you wanted. And now you're realizing, no, that was all fake. That wasn't fair. That wasn't um, playful. It wasn't bringing me the joy. It wasn't bringing me um, what I wanted. Um, maybe it was making you feel um, stuck uh, instead of being the rebel. Maybe a lot of you guys need to become the rebel. How you see your situation is the king of swords. So this is like a, a Gemini. It could be a Lib Libra. It could be Aquarius. This is a male, it could be a male or female, but this person's coming forward with a lot of truth, honesty. You can trust this person. They want to talk about, they want to communicate. They want to tell you the truth about a situation. It could be bringing you this tower moment as well. Somebody around you or in your environment. We have the eight of cups. Again, this could be somebody um, changing their mind. Somebody around you could be coming back towards you that left. Somebody could have left you in the and uh, now are coming back towards you. This could be causing you confusion. This could be causing you to change your mind. Um, it also could be that somebody around you is thinking about leaving a situation. They may be thinking about leaving, walking away from you, um, leaving a situation with you. And hopes and fears, we have the hangman. So your hopes and fears are the hangman. All right, so... You guys are really hoping to figure this out. You're hoping to have learned your lesson because a lot of this is going to be unexpected, um, unstable energy that's coming towards you. A lot of un so I think a lot of this unfairness that you're experiencing, this King of Swords could be the one bringing bringing you the news that either something paperwork did not go in your favor, um, a relationship didn't go in your favor, a lawsuit didn't go in your favor, or it was that. It's not that it didn't go in your favor. It's that you didn't get out of it 100% what you wanted. So maybe let's just say you got 50% of the lawsuit or the money. If it was money, 50% or, you know, whatever. But you're, it's just, it feels to me like it wasn't what you wanted 100%. Um, and this is really going to be unexpected. Um, so this is all, there's definitely going to be some legal documents here that, that need to be uh, addressed as far as, it's just not coming in, in your favor. So the night the, 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 the hangman. So you guys are hoping to learn a lesson from this. You're hoping to get whatever's happening to you. That's unfair. That's creating all this change and, um, lack of fun, worry, um, lack of money. Some of you guys lost your job. Some of you, um, maybe got a, a pay, a pay, uh, a, a decrease within your pay. Within your pay, within your job, you got demoted. Therefore, the money is less. Some of you are, that's, you know, a lot of you guys have been saving, but it's like, that was the past. And now you're getting cut your wages or somebody's getting their wages cut. So whoever's working for a job, um, um, it's been difficult and you've been doing really well, but it's just like not enough money. And it's, it's creating you to feel that you just, you lost out on a job project or something possibly for some of you, for others of you, you're trying to, there was a disagreement with somebody within your past. There was either a breakup, um, a lost job or a bad financial decision. Um, and you guys are just really trying to recover from that. You're trying to at least manage what you, what you have left. Okay. What you lost, you're trying to manage what you have left. And in the meantime, while you're trying to do that, all this stuff is breaking down. And it's good because it's going to man, it's going to transform into a better situation. So let's go ahead and find out, um, get clarifying for the justice card in reverse. Why is this here for Leo? Oh, okay. So the three of cups and the hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, 
You could be dealing with uh, somebody from your past. Uh, you're going to be finding out some information about this person. They could be coming. You could be reuniting with somebody that you haven't seen in a very long time that has been hiding out from you, not wanting to talk to you. And now there's a socially there. You're going to be socially brought together. Um, and that is going to create some kind of injustice here, injustice here. Some kind of unfairness is going to be revealed here. It's weird because we have somebody going out all the time or somebody going, not going out all the time, but this is a party friends gathering. And then we have the opposite. Somebody who doesn't want to be social. They want to go within their mind. They want to search within their mind. Uh, to find some answers about something um, in regards to somebody from your past. Okay, why is the Justice card here? And this is coming in for you right away when you're watching this video, this reuniting with this person, this Virgo, or a person that you have that's been hiding out, waiting um, to find, the, uh, find out some answers, some truth about something. Wow, and we have the Sun card. So... Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it was needed to come together. It's, it was impor important for this to come together to find out why there was an unjust here. It's time for this to come forward.